My, my story started um, about nine months ago when my wife passed. It was um, obviously very traumatic, to say the least. My wife and I, we didn't have any kids. So we were each other's world. The journey is a lonely one because a lot of what you want to share is very difficult to share with immediate family members because it's just, it's just a challenge at best. To move forward, it's very difficult. And uh, that's why the, it was so critical to have hospice. It's been very therapeutic to have hospice. Vaughn um, acknowledged the extents of my world and uh, appreciate the pains that I was experiencing when these kinds of journeys happen to you. Um, a, a lot of your conversations happen within your mind and it's very difficult to convey that. So when you're in a room with other people of similar circumstances and they start sharing, it's very profound. And it's very um, forward moving, so it was a good start. My journey is obviously a work in progress and hospice kind of reignited my ability to to look forward to things and um, re-engage with what I used to re-engage with. You won a lottery when you know you're living in a first world country. Further to that, um, you've won a lottery when you have a hospice near you where you live.